and welcome back to Obsessive Prep Raisy. I hope this video finds you all safe and healthy. And uh, in our world today, a little bit of chaos going on. And uh, I just wanted to show you that even with being at home, there's always things we can do. I just cleaned out a cabinet that I haven't cleaned out in good couple years. And so take this time to do projects around the house that you haven't been able to do. Um, spend some time with your family, the kids, especially with the kids being out of school. And uh, for me, I always am prepping. I'm always thinking of things to do, extend food life. In this picture, there is eight heads of cauliflower in my dehydrator. I went ahead and cleaned it, chopped it up so I could have dehydrated cauliflower rice. Well, they're in here and I wanted to show you how it turns out what eight heads looks like in volume once it's dehydrated. If you haven't seen my dehydrated um, how to dehydrate cauliflower video, it'll be linked up here in the description down below. So easy to do and I take all sorts of frozen, fresh, blanched, different brands and I do it all and I show you what I believe turns out the best for the dehydrator. Also another thing that I am working on is my girlfriend brought me a bunch of mushrooms. Let me see if I can get the camera flipped around here. Beautiful mushrooms back here and I'm going to dehydrate these and I will go ahead at the end of the video after I show you pulling out my uh, cauliflower I'll show you what I do to dehydrate mushrooms. These mushrooms I've already gone ahead and rinsed and washed them and cleaned them up. Normally with mushrooms we'll just brush the dirt off, clean them off a little bit, slice them to put them in our food because we don't want to rinse them because we don't want that extra moisture but when we're dehydrating that's not an issue. I go ahead and clean them first and then I slice them to get them into the dehydrator. That is some of the things that I am doing. I'm also going to do a bunch of green onions. I'm gonna get those diced up and put them in my dehydrator. The only thing different I do when I, when I do that with green onions is I put the dehydrator outside because boy, I'm telling you, garlic and onions in the house, woo, you better do it outside. Fair warning. I'll get the camera turned around and I'll show you what I'm doing with my cauliflower. Really seriously, so simple and easy to do. Now it does make a little mess, some of the things that I do to try to keep from having messes, I'll leave a piece of parchment paper down at the bottom of my dehydrator because some of the cauliflower rice will have a tendency to drop through our little uh, silicone tray mats here. So I will have that catch it. Also, I always use a tray. So when I'm trying to put those uh, silicone mats and get the vegetables off, that it can catch and then all I've got to do is put it back into the bowl. Watch this video of me dehydrating my cauliflower in all the different brands and I will show you the outcome of what dehydrated cauliflower looks like at the end of the video. So simple, easy to do and especially for all of us that want more vegetables in our diet, our refrigerators can only hold so much. Our freezers can only hold so much. If you can imagine something so simple to do, and now I've got eight heads of cauliflower dehydrated, shelf stable for years to come. And again, like I said, I will add it to soup mixtures. If I wanna thicken it, I will also reconstitute it and make like a cauliflower mashed potato. Add some cheese, butter, super yummy, so give it a try. All I'm going to do is add it to my mason jars. I'll use my food savers attachments, suck the oxygen out of it, and we're shelf stable. Eight heads of cauliflower fit in one quart and a half pint. Now if I pounded this on the counter, I could go ahead and probably get the rest of this in, but I always leave a small container open that I can use in my cooking. So on a quart, normally that is four cups, liquid weight, but four cups. So we're looking at about a half a cup is one head of cauliflower, maybe a heaping half a cup. But so it gives you an idea of how much a quart will hold. 
bonus bonus. Now come on over here with me with my mushrooms and we'll talk about some of those. Now that our mushrooms are completely rinsed and washed off, all we're gonna do is take the ends off our mushrooms. Now I don't throw my ends away because later on tonight I will make a mushroom soup. So yummy, easy to do. My husband just falls in love with this recipe and uh, all I really do is saute some onions. I saute the mushrooms in some butter and olive oil. I use a little bit of garlic. I make a roux with some flour, put that on top, a little bit of chicken broth, and then I add some, um, some uh, whipping cream to it, or half and half, whatever you have, salt and pepper, some thyme, and it turns out wonderful. And so just simple things like that, don't waste your product. Even though you're not, we're not wanting to dehydrate it, we can use it for something else. So all I'm gonna do is take my knife and slice them into nice slices. And it really doesn't make a difference. The thickness, other than the thicker they are, the longer they're going to take to uh, dehydrate. So there we go, some decent sized ones. So then I will get them on the dehydrator trays. Once I get my entire dehydrator loaded, I will get back with you and show you what I'm gonna do next. sliced and in the dehydrator. Now with my Excalibur, all I've got to do is set my thermostat to 125 degrees and we're going to dehydrate these anywhere from 6 to 10 hours. And with dehydrating, there isn't an exact time because there's different thicknesses where you're at. Sometimes when you're in areas that have a lot of moisture in the air, it's raining outside, then it's going to take longer to dehydrate. Also, I show you that I take the ends of my mushrooms off, and the reason why I do that is with, when I'm doing this, I'm gonna cook me a mushroom soup. So I've got all my ends, and then I also, some of the smaller pieces, and dice this. Now, if you wanna see how I do my mushroom soup recipe, keep an eye out, I'll do a video on it. It'll be a quick, probably not a whole lot of talking, and show you what I do for a mushroom soup. It is so simple to make mushroom soup. And especially when you're doing dehydrated mushrooms, you can make mushroom soup. You can add them to casseroles, chicken a la king, chicken marsala. So by having dehydrated mushrooms, we're making them shelf stable. So we don't have to have them in our refrigerator grow, go bad. And I don't know if you're like me, sometimes I'll go to the pantry and expect for a jar of mushrooms to be there or wanna make a recipe and I don't have them in my refrigerator. So all I've gotta do is go get my jar of mushrooms, pull some out and I can add them to my recipe. So 125 degrees, six to 10 hours. When I get done, I'll get back to you and show you the end result. Going back to the cauliflower, I didn't suck the air out of this because I always try to show people that are new to the channel. I know all of you that watch know this is what I do, but for some of you that haven't seen the video, I always try to show what I do. And so instead of using oxygen absorbers, I use a food saver. The food saver has a regular mouth and then also a wide mouth jar attachment that sucks the air out. And what you do is you use the port hose and we just stick this on, we get our port hose, attach it, and then we put it on the canister setting. Whoop, close it down. By doing this, it removes all the oxygen out of our jars. It's sealed and then it's shelf stable. We don't have to mess with it. And then if you end up using some of your product, just go ahead, open the jar up, use your food saver, and suck the oxygen out. The food saver is one of those things, I don't get any money from it. I'm just a strong believer in a food saver if you're a prepper and you're looking for food storage. It's one of those things that just helps you save money like having mason jars and putting your stuff in mason jars over a long period of time. So you heard that our food saver shut off, completely sealed here. 
no oxygen absorber, no ring on there, and it is completely airtight. So just wanted to give you that information. Now let's get on over to the mushrooms. Okay, so our mushrooms are completely dry, and what I will do, I always use my gloves when I'm gonna put them in a bowl and then put them in a mason jar. I like to keep things, germs off of them, so uh, that's what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Give you a look here of what my mushrooms look like. Beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. And like I had mentioned earlier in the video, the taste of them is just amazing. So I'm going to try to see through the glove if you can hear the snap. Do you hear that? That's how we know that our mushroom is done, is when they will break. They're no longer pliable in you. If they're pliable, you want to leave them in the dehydrator a little longer. So you want that chip snap to it. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get these out of my dehydrator. I'm going to get them in the jars and then I'll get back with you. All of our mushrooms are completely dehydrated in the bowl. They're so beautiful. And like it said earlier, shelf stable. You can take your mushrooms, take them where we don't have to clog our refrigerator, and especially in difficult times, or let's just say you don't want to run to the grocery store all the time, but you don't have fresh mushrooms, all you've got to do is get into your dehydrated mushrooms and make a meal with them. They reconstitute great. The, uh, the structure of them makes an awesome soup and the flavor intensity is just so much more than just a regular mushroom. Now this was the equivalent to six of the uh, grocery store white button mushroom containers and also six of the uh, little mini Bella mushrooms. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get them in the mason jar, seal them just like I did in the, uh, the, like I did with the cauliflower and we have shelf stabled mushrooms. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. If you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.